Welcome to Astro Auto Repairs. Today, we got a 1990 Buick LeSabre. Customers complaining about brake noise, brake squealing. So we don't know whether it's coming from the fronts or the backs. So what we're gonna do is jack up the side of the car, pull off one wheel from the front and one wheel from the back. We're gonna check these brakes out. A lot of times, these drum brakes, they build up brake dust and they squeal also. We're gonna check that out. All right, let's get this car jacked up and get these wheels off. Okay, we got the wheels off. We're on the left rear wheel. Let's pull off this drum, see how it looks. Sometimes you gotta hit the drum to knock it off, but these are coming off pretty good. All right, we got some, if you can see, we got some brake dust in here. Now brake dust can cause the squeal. It's not that much, but we're gonna do a spray it up and clean it up. Put that back together. Okay, here we go. We're looking at the front brakes. Now, the front brakes is kind of weird because if you're looking at the inner pad right here, that's a lot of meat. So that's like brand new. But if we go around here to the outboard pad, that's really low, but the sense is not touching. Now remember, as I said, the complaint is the brakes are squealing. Now this is low, this is not going to cause no squeal unless a lot of the times you get these brake pads and they don't have the anti-shim in the back. This one seems like it does so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so what we're going to do on this side is spray that back brakes. Let's go back here. We're going to spray these back brakes because you see I took a lot of dust out. Remember. The back brakes, if they got that dust in there, they can cause the system to squeal. So what we're going to do is we're going to spray that up, put this wheel back on, put the front wheel back on, and go jack up the other side. Alright, let's get these brakes sprayed up. Okay, we got a can of AutoZone brake cleaner. Let's get these sprayed up. Get it back on. Okay, we're at the right rear wheel. Let's pull off this drum. Look at that. Brake dust, all brake dust. This thing got a lot of brake dust in it. So we're gonna clean that up before we even begin, before we even go to the front. Now the brakes over here are kind of low, really low. And actually they're starting to crack. But it's still not causing the brake squirrel, but we are going to recommend some rear brakes. All right, let's go take a look at the fronts. Okay, we're at the front right. Something really going on here. See, this caliper got a lot of play in it, and the top half won't even slide. Uh, so we got a really, we got an issue here. So what we're gonna do here is 
remove this caliper so we can further diagnose it and see what's going on. So let's get this caliper off of here. We have a bushing here. The bushing is locked up. It will not slide. This inside bushing is completely gone. I have no idea where it went. Uh, we got a little axle grease going on here. I'm not worried about that. All right, so we can see the slider is not sliding, so the caliper is not functioning right over here. One bushing is completely gone. I have no idea where it went. Uh, fell out somewhere. So this caliper is not moving right at all. Also, what I want you to notice is on the inside of this caliper, you see a little mark right there. This thing's been grinding and touching. And there's some little metal shavings on the outside of the rim. So this caliper is going to have to be replaced. Okay, we're here, we're gonna take off the caliper, do the front brakes, and the rear shoes. A good tool you wanna get is one of these hose scrimpers right here. So when I release, take off the brake hose, brake fluid ain't spraying everywhere, or we don't have too much bleeding to do. So let's take this, squeeze it, lock it into place. Get a little pan up under here for the fluid. very important you got two washers in here these washers also act as gaskets you can see one right there and one right here they go on each side of the brake holes right there all right let's get these count up out of here because we you know a core charge they charge you extra if you don't bring back the old one so we're going to beat them to the punch. Take it out already. Okay, here we are on the right side. We got the brand new caliper, new sliders, new bolt. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Sliders slide back and forth. That's great. We also have Two new washers slash gaskets. So let's get those installed on the bolt. Remember, one goes on each side of that brake line. Now, when you put brake pads on, sometimes some of them has these uh, anti-wear shims, which they'll hit the rotor before <coughs> the brake pad to go metal to metal and mess up your rotor. What you do is hold it at an angle like this. At the curve end, it's like a sad face. And whichever side that brake wear sensor is on, that's the side you go on. So right here is facing on the right. So I know this is going to the right side. So we're gonna take our new caliper. Stick the new, sometimes, uh, you might want to open this up a little bit so it grabs better. Take the other one, squeeze it into place. It's got these holes where those indentations line up. Remove the cap, that's where the brake line is going. It. 
The size of these bolts are 5 16 Allen key. Okay, let's get those tightened up. Okay, took that wash off of there. Slash gasket. Put one on. Put it through the brake line. Put the other one on. Now we can take our tool off, release it. We're not going to bleed this yet. What we're going to do is set up. And let's go do the right rear brake. Okay, we're on the right rear brake shoes. Got the new shoes. What you're going to need to do this job is this little brake tool here to remove the springs and a needle nose pair of vice grips. Best way to get this done. Let's get these things off of here. Start off twisting these. Take them off. Then we're gonna take this top spring. Take it off like that. And as soon as you take that top spring off, the whole thing is gonna come apart. Just like that. Take off this bottom spring right here. Try to lay it down. Like, see how I got this all together? You just want to try to lay it down just like that, just in the order you took it off. So, in that way, in case you, you forget where it goes, you got it. Now, see this? <coughs> this right here, this is the emergency brake lever. Now, you can do this two ways. You can either try to take it off from here, take the spring off, and wrap that around, or you can turn it to the back side. And it's a C-clip right there. You can pop it off from there. All right, memory card went out on the right side, so hopefully we can show you on the left side by using the Galaxy Note 2 to record. All right, let's get this caliper off of here. gonna do is take a C clamp I took the <coughs> before you do a job of brakes take the cap off the master cylinder all right we took it off so what we're gonna do now is get some C clamp and compress that piston back now on the right side we didn't have to do that because we put a new caliper up there and they come already compressed pressed in Good idea to use one of the old brake shoes, <coughs> brake pads, to push back so you don't mess up that piston. It should go back very smooth. If there's any binding or anything, replace that caliper or inspect that brake hose. Now we're going to check out the sliders to make sure the sliders are sliding. As you can see, both of them are perfect. Let's get the new brake pads. You're in. Put the caliper back on. Okay, remove the drum. Now remember, we already cleaned this up before, so that's why it looks nice and clean. The two tools you're going to need, the main tools, a small pair of needle nose vice grips, and this brake tool removes the, spring, the brake spring. Right, this is going to take care of. This should look familiar to you already because we did it on the, the right side.
And as you can see, when I take stuff off, I like to set it down <coughs> as I take it off so I can a reference where it goes back together. But if you got the other side apart, it wouldn't even matter because you can use the other side as a reference. Sometimes you got to get a screwdriver in there to get that thing. There we go. Get a screwdriver to get it open. It's a good idea to bend that thing back into place before you put it back on. So what we're going to do Set this on a flat surface. Bend it back in the place. Okay. We got the horseshoe on. Let's get this one installed. up the bottom spring just let it hang there now on the other side what you didn't see is this setup right here this is what we're gonna have to remove first take off take off the adjusting spring remove the adjuster let it be right there now you got this section right here. Just let that to the side. Now this adjuster, a lot of times, they get seized up. It won't turn. <coughs> the other side was stuck. Bring that adjuster all the way in. This little piece right here, that piece is going to always face towards the back. So when you put this together, make sure it's to the back. Put this down. Next, we have this little pin right here. We got to take this pin out and install it into the new brake shoe. Knock it down to the ring touches the shoe. Okay. Install the adjusting bracket. And the adjuster. If you notice, the adjuster got a little indentation right there. That indentation <coughs> phases out towards you because it keeps this bracket right here in place. Last, at the bottom, I'm going to hook up this 
spring on the bottom. Make sure the spring is underneath that brace. And that's done. Now these brakes, usually there's a, a slot in the back to adjust these brakes. But these don't have it. These are self-adjusting. But what you're going to do is bring it out as much as you can. You're going to put the drum on. Let's see. That's moving freely. So we're going to take a screwdriver. And if you see the adjuster inside there. We're going to bring that out. Keep turning it. It's going to take about a good 10 clicks. Perfect. Okay, there you have it. Front brakes, right side caliper, rear brakes, 1990 Buick LeSabre. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out. This has came out to be another good job by Astro Auto Repairs. And as you know it, if we can't repair it, nobody can. Take care.